Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Perry and today we are playing Frosty Nights. It's uh, from the same developers as The Boogeyman and The Boogeyman Part 2, which I both haven't played yet. <laughs> but I have seen footage of The uh, Boogeyman, so I kinda know what the deal is with that game. But this is apparently from the uh, same creator, so... Uh, it looked it looked really nice in the in the trailer and because it's uh, Christmas is coming and it's winter so I thought why not uh, play this game so let's see what we can do here because this is the area where the game sp uh, starts oh okay mystery door new game Excuse you. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see. Put that a little louder. Nightmare night and continue. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we got tape recorder here. Damn, that's. Uh <laughs> Let's see, new game. Are we a boy or a girl? Oh, I'm going for this one. Yes. Okay, let's see. With the mouse we can pick stuff up. Or oh, with E. Okay, cool. So we can... Oh, cool. Oh, we are go actually going to make a snowman. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Put that there. Oh, oh, oh. Come here. Put you here. Yes. Put the scarf. Right there. What are these? Mittens? Oh. Okay. Here's your nose, sir. And to finish it, we need uh, a nice top hat. And you're not getting any arms because then you can't grab me. <laughs> oh, we will give him some arms. Let's see. Um, back, back up. Yes. Do, 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 do. Put that there. And then, huh. looks really nice. Made a. Did a good job on the uh, on the graphics. Hello, sir. Oh. <coughs> Clockwork Wolf presents. Yeah, Frosty Nights. Oh, Frosty Nights. <laughs> Frosty Nights uh, sounds uh, <laughs> a little bit cuter. <laughs> oh, wow. Hello, Mr. Deer. Loud. <coughs> mm -hmm. You tell them, uh, Mr. Owl. <laughs> okay, so we are. Oh, so I think we will actually start the game now. It's, uh, Don't stay up too late, okay? You've got your first day mm -hmm. at school tomorrow. Yes, and no listening to those horror stories anymore. No, you mom. know they give you nightmares. Yes, Sweet mom. dreams. <laughs> love you. Yeah, love you too. Bye bye. Uh, let's see. Oh, why? Okay. So, can I pick this stuff up? Nope. 
Okay, let's just see what's on the list here. I had my story tapes around my room to stop my mom finding them. From finding them. I'm not sleepy yet, I might find them and play them in my tape player. I won't have time to listen to them again. I have five tapes and WASD to move and yes. Metal, metal mouse button to interact. Oh, yes, okay. Perfect, so I guess we have to find some tapes. We have a flashlight, we don't have a fly. Oh, I think I saw, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, there are batteries, that's cool. Yeah, because if I remember correctly from, from what I saw of the footage of uh, the boogeyman, they, you could grab them from underneath your bed. And then you got different... Um, how do I put on? Oh, okay. And you got different types of, uh, of batteries, but I guess we can just take them now. Oh, here's a ball. No tape in here. Nope. Doesn't look like it. Nothing behind the chest. Can I take stuff? Ooh! Ooh, there's a present! Give me give me the give me the present. No. Can't take these, no. Doesn't look like it, so. Hello Mr. Snowman. Huh? Uh oh. What's this? Oh, a hair dryer. So I guess our battery is empty, so we take a new one. Oh, here's a tape. Here's a tape. Here. Crap. I can't grab it. Okay. Grab the freaking tape. Thank you. Okay. Frosty Nights, Chapter One. Welcome, children, to a wonderful, magical, and yet grisly story that Old Saint Nicholas never wanted you to know. Mm -hmm. This story takes us back a long, long time ago. When old Nicholas still had flecks of ginger in his beard. We'll just call him by what everyone today know him as. Santa. Mm -hmm. We will start from the very beginning. When Santa was still scouring the world for the perfect place to build his workshop. He found none better than the North Pole where magic seeped readily from the earth. So much magic was there that Santa learned to use the magic in ways he had never dreamt. Mm -hmm. His body no longer grew old. He could slow time around him to a near complete stop. And as long as he gathered enough magic, he knew he could travel the world in what to us was a single day. Even slowing time as he could, Santa quickly realized to make enough toys for every child in the world would take him far too long. So Santa placed his hands into the snow and called to Mother Nature herself for help. Mother Nature was gentle as she was wild. She saw the kindness in Santa's heart and agreed to help by melding Santa's magic and Mother Nature's spirit into the snow itself. Hmm. The first of the snowmen bubbled up from the ground like liquid snow. Yet unmoving and lifeless just as the snowmen we know today, Mother Nature seemed to pause before then placing a carrot for its nose. You see, everything that is alive requires a small part of life to begin with. The acorn for the oak tree, the egg for the red robin, and the love of a mother and father for humanity. The carrot twitched, and ever so slowly, eyes within the sphere of snow began to appear and opened for the first time. 
Santa slanted his head to the side in a curious thinking gaze as he took off his scarf and hat and placed it upon the snowman. Taking a step back, he looked again and smiled. The snowman smiled back. As Santa the father and Mother Nature as the mother, the snowman were all too happy to help Santa build his workshop and all the toys for every child in the world. Awesome. So that was freaking loud. So if I can hear that loud and clear from all the way here, then I think my mom would have noticed uh, the sound as well <laughs> over the story. And I noticed that I can't use my flashlight anymore. Oh, oh, okay, okay. So I just have to open it and close it to get a battery. Well, two of them get, got launched somewhere, so. Okay, so what do we do now? We gotta find the next tape, I guess. Can we open this? Yes, we can, okay. Let's see, what do we have in here? Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. What do... I got pushed, uh, pushed away. See? Again. Hello. Oh. I used up all my uh, battery again. Eh. What the? Grab it. Throw it away and let me check. Hello and hello. Okay. Well, hello to you too. So I guess we will continue our search. Oh! We found the battery. It wasn't there before, was it? Chapter 2 Many years had passed, and children throughout the world had Christmas within their hearts. Santa had delivered toys year after year to the children of the world, and the world was a better place for it. However, there were children who were not happy with Santa's toys alone, and demanded more and more. The parents of many of these children succumbed to their child's wishes and began to buy more and more as each year passed. Each year more and more trees were getting cut down, toy factories could not keep up with the demand, and forests were not being replanted and regrown as Santa did with his magic. Mother Nature watched as the birds Squirrels, deer, bears, and countless more of her children were left homeless and died. Mother Nature once saw humanity as her children, but each year as the destruction for toys carried on, she became more and more furious. Santa understood Mother Nature's anger and tried to make amends by creating the naughty list. Any child who was undeserving would not receive Santa's toys, and the spare magic from making those toys would be given to the forests of the planet to help grow and recover. Mother Nature was happy for a time, until even this did not offset humanity's greed. Humans, now with great machines, powered from the fossils of her most ancient children, began to pollute the air, water, the earth, forests vanished before her eyes and entire species began to die. Mother Nature wept for many years hoping humanity would hear her and stop the pain they were causing. Her cries were drowned out by the drills boring into the planet, the saws biting into the trees, and the roaring of flames in engines. The pain turned to anger, and the anger to fury. Santa was helpless as Mother Nature's suffering began to warp the minds of the snowmen. One by one, they stopped working on toys and slowly but surely faded into the distance as they left the workshop behind. Santa eventually found the elves high up in the mountains that were glad to be of help to Santa. However, our story is with the snowmen and not Santa. Well, that is true. 
But he looks happy. He, she. Ed. Okay, so now we gotta find the third. Um, tape. So I guess we have to recheck everything again. Um, see, because that wasn't there before. I'm pretty sure that wasn't there before. But I will, uh, I will see that on the recording. Chapter 3 John had just gotten home from school. He quickly grew excited as he spotted the snowman outside his bedroom window. John's dad often made him surprises, and he quickly ran out to decorate the snowman. John used his favorite scarf and hat and found the shiniest rocks he could for the buttons. John was very proud of his decorations, and soon it was time for him to go to bed. Looking out the window, he smiled at the snowman as his eyes slowly began to close. John awoke with a chill in the air and snow on his bed. He opened his eyes to see the window was wide open. Confused and sleepy, he got up and closed the window. As he looked out, however, he noticed the snowman's hat was missing. It must have blown off in the wind, he thought. Upon getting back into bed, he found the hat on top of his covers. He stopped and thought for a moment. His mom must have taken it off and put it there for him. After all, he no longer had a hat to wear for school tomorrow, and it was very cold outside in the mornings. The next day, John returned again from school, and a second snowman was right next to the first. He couldn't believe it. His dad had built him a second. He went into the closet and found his box of old worn clothes, hats and scarves too tattered to wear, but sentimental enough to keep. John decorated the second, and again smiled with pride, as it almost seemed like the snowman smiled back at him. A trick of the imagination. And John thought how cool it would be if snowmen really were alive. Ooh. I think uh, he should talk to uh, Olaf. <laughs> What's this? Oh, here we are. It's just tape. Yeah, tape, okay. We don't need tape. Can I have another battery, please? Because mine seems to run out pretty quickly. Is there a tape in, damn it, in here now? Doesn't look like. Doesn't look like it. Okay. Okay. No tape in here for now. So we will head back to the closet. And there is one now. So grab, grab. Could you please grab? Thank you. Don't move. Chapter 4 The sound of snow filled wind blowing through the room. The screech of an open window hinge as it bangs to and fro. John opens his eyes once again, tiredly shuffling out of bed to close his window. John freezes as his hand reaches for the latch. Only one of the two snowmen are outside his window. Why has someone moved it? John hears a dripping sound coming from his closet. John may only be a child, but he's never been scared of the dark or monsters. He's too clever to believe in fairy tales. So why would monsters be any more real than those? He heads over to the closet and with a gentle pull begins to open the door. Open the door. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
What was that? I don't think that was me. Huh. Anyway. Now we can find the last tape thingy. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Are you ready? Okay. Here we go. The last tape. I think five is out, right? Chapter five. John's vision begins to adjust into the darkness from staring at the bright moonlight outside. Nothing. His closet is empty besides a few boxes. The dripping sound continues though, so he steps inside to try and listen to where it's coming from. As he does so, he hears a loud thud near his still open window. John pokes his head out of the closet, and there in front of the window, is the snowman that only a minute ago was standing outside. The snowman is different, lifelike, with sharp, pointed teeth and a hungry grin curling more and more to the sides as it starts to move closer. John is frozen in fear. He doesn't understand. There is no logical explanation. He slowly backs away further into the closet. He feels something wet on his head. Drip, drop, drip, drop. As John looks up, the missing snowman is on the ceiling, holding itself up with big branched arms. John sees the other snowman now in front of the closet, arms reaching. The closet door begins to close, and complete darkness envelops John. Rough knotted branch fingers wrap around John's head, and a gruesome snap and popping sound echoes through the room from that dark closet. John is never seen again. The house is put up for sale shortly after, however with the disappearance of John well known throughout the town, a young boy who suddenly vanished without a trace from his bed one frosty night. The house remained unsold and empty for many years. Until this night, in fact. Which, my child, is where our story begins. <laughs> yeah. I was uh, afraid of that. Okay, so this is where our tale begins. So. Oh no, it's still playing. Okay. <coughs> Strategy plan. The snowman is coming. I have to prepare. I need to find something to scare snowman, something to see in the dark, something to bind both of them together. Trying to swap between them would be dangerous. Oh, okay, okay, they put the flashlight and something to scare the snowman, put them together, of course, and uh, we already saw uh, like a hairdryer, hairdryer equals heat, and I guess snowmen don't like heat, so we have to find something to wrap those together, maybe with like uh, a rubber band or duct tape or something. I should bring everything to the table, okay, we can do that, we can do that. Okay, so this is the table. So we found this thing al already. No, why can't I move? Oh! <laughs> we only need to find the hair dryer. Okay. Oh, this looks like a super cool gadget. Oh, oh that's cool. Okay. Action plan. Before each night, I 
should search for useful things and put them where they will help. Okay, best defense position to start night in the bed. Okay. <coughs> so, are we already starting? Did we already start? Huh. I don't know. I don't know. Let's just go into the bed and see what happens. Okay. Night one. So I still don't actually know what the what I should do. Can I still move? Oh, I can't even move. What? What? Oh, whoa. Um, um, shoe. Shoe. Okay, so now we just like wait for them to show up somewhere. Yeah, it looks a little bit the same as uh, as the boogeyman, because then you only need to shine uh, shine him. Where, where, where? Oh, oh, cool. What the what? What's going on? Oh, um, I want to do. Um, can I? Can I? Put. No, no, no! Let me exit this thing. How do I use it? Um. Uh, oh, okay, okay. Oh, you actually have to put them in there. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> okay. Okay, that's it. That's it. That's it for me. How can I... How can I return? Okay, so I have to return to the... We click on the bed again. To return to the bed. Uh-oh. Uh-huh. Oh, everything looks cool. We are safe. At least as far as I know. Looks safe. Hmm. Well, it's only the first night, so... I guess we... This is just the introduction to the game. We only saw one snowman coming at us so far and hello can you can you please close the door uh, close the window so was there a way to stop him from opening the window shit um Okay, let's go for it. Grab, grab the green one. No, grab, grab. Put it in there. And then click on the bed. No one here? Nope, no one here. Okay. Eh. Everything is just quiet. Nice and quiet. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Okay, my question still stands. Can we do anything about that? Uh, let's uh, grab it. Where, 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 where? Oh, the wind just started. Okay. I hear a lot of shit. 
Don't see anything though. It's like th that they are on top of uh, on top of the room, or on the roof maybe. Okay, I'm just going to grab another uh, battery then. Okay, so that wasn't a quit or continue. Well, screw you, <laughs> screw you, dude. No, 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 no. Let's continue. Let's see if I failed or if I actually did a thing. No, I failed. Okay. Okay, let's try that again then. So, what can we do about our uh, window opening friend are we started I hear you uh -huh. he could be a distraction though hmm huh. no Do I need, them, need to melt them down all the way? Or can I just leave them in there mm. like... What was that? Okay. Here's someone. Yeah, here's something outside. Something walking in the snow. Well, I guess we're good. Making <laughs> making the bed a little warmer. No, I don't know if the little kind of thing got on the, underneath my bed. Like... Like the previous one. Whoa, fucking hell. The previous night I got uh, killed right away. Or, yeah. Jump scared, but... I don't know where he came from though. Maybe he came from the window. Or oh, that was the one that came from the bed. I, I don't think I can do anything about uh, them opening the window. But if you, if you know anything about it, then please let me know. Because that would be quite useful information. <laughs> I heard something. Trying to listen very carefully. Hmm. So until until what time do we need to like survive? It's three twenty three twenty five at the moment. He doesn't reach him. Oh shit. Um, my hair blower is still uh, pretty... Uh, doing pretty okay with the battery life. 
I heard something. Oh, no, 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 no. Please don't kill me, Mr. Snowman. We can be friends, you know. I mean... I made our friend there. No! No! No, I see you, man. Okay, go. Crap, crap, crap. Put it in there. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Okay. Think we're good? Yeah, I think we're good. Whew. Okay. Just checking everything. At least we know they can, can come from in there. But that will make noise. And those two exits won't make noise, I guess. Still got some power left. 5.30. Ooh, no, 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 no. Go away. No. Okay. Think we're good? Five fifty. Oh yeah. Oh fucking hell. Oh. Nice. So I guess we su survive night one. Oh oh oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he looks evil. Oh, the smile. Oh. His buddy is coming. Okay. Okay. So it does it does it save here? Let's see. Oh, I think it saves here. So yeah, yeah, this is a cool uh cool introduction to the game uh, I gotta say um, yeah I think it's a uh, it's a nice uh, nice spot to end the, uh, the first episode we did the introduction and the first night so I'm uh, curious what the night two will bring us so if you liked it please uh, hit the like button uh, <coughs> or subscribe to the channel and yeah thank you uh, so much for watching and have yourself an awesome day bye Bum 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 bum